hi guys welcome to my channel in today's diy project we'll be making dollar tree diy glam bookends one of them is a z gallery inspired diy so we're making three diy bookends today and they'll fit perfectly into your spring decor so let's get started the first one will be the inspiration from z gallery and for this one i'll be using the golf balls these golf balls are from the dollar tree and we're going to be needing two and a half packs for this DIY. I'm just using a straight edge to keep everything aligned and I'll be using my hot glue to attach all my golf balls. The first row will be three golf balls and then I'll attach the rest. And I'm trying to use a minimal amount of my hot glue so it won't be showing after I'm done. And just watch how I'm attaching these. So I'm using six of them to form a triangle and then I'll stack the rest on top. So that's three for the second level and then there's one on the top. And for the bookends, I'm making a pair of each so I made two of this. Now I'll take them out to spray paint. I'll be spray painting them gold. And my spray paint of choice is my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold. So I'll leave those to dry and then we're going to make the base for our bookends. For our frame, I'm going to be using the tower tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using my same straight edge. You can use anything that you have just to make sure that the pieces stay aligned. And I'm going to be adding nine pieces of my tower tumbling blocks to each row. And I'll be going three high with this. And I'm using my tight bond wood glue for this project so it will be nice and strong. So one is complete and I'm going to be making four sets of those. Put them aside to dry and then I'm going to be working on my little bunnies. I got these bunnies from the Dollar Tree. They're foam bunnies. They're a part of their spring collection. So I'll just be using these two to make our bookends today. I'm going to spray paint these and before I spray paint in order to not melt the foam, I'll be using my acrylic paint and I'm just going over with my acrylic paint. And you can use any acrylic paint for this or any indoor paint. And I forgot to mention, I placed a skewer in the base so I could hold the skewer while I paint them. I paint my two bunnies and now they're dry. I just gave them one coat since I'll be using glitter on top. Now I'm going to be spray painting with my Carbon Mist Black spray paint. And while the spray paint is still wet, I'm going to be using my glitter and just go over it and the glitter will be drying with that spray paint so everything will stick together. I place them outside to dry and after they're dry, you can still see that the glitter is coming off. So I'm going to be using my got to be glued hairspray and I'll give them one coat, let them dry. And while they're drying, I'll be taking my eggs from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna use two eggs and I'm using my same metallic gold paint and I'll just paint those eggs. I'll place those eggs to dry. Now my bunnies are dry but the glitter is still loose a little bit so it takes a little more than one coat to get the glitter to stick. Now I'm just going to add some details to my bunny. I'm going to add two eyes with my teardrop rhinestones. And all the items I'm using, I'll link in the description box below. 
And to attach my eyes, I'm just using my hot glue and just pressing that rhinestone in. I did that for both eyes and I'll do that for both of my bunnies. And then I have my rhinestone chain and I'm just gonna go right around the neck with that chain and I'm gonna make a nice little chain for my bunny and I'm using my hot glue to attach it right under the neck area and that's the same place I'll be attaching my bow. And for my bows, I'm cutting a two inch strip and for each side of the bow, it will have one inch. So I'm just making the bow with my hot glue and then I'll glue them on. Now I'm done with my two bunnies, so I'll just go over another time with my hairspray and I'll place those to dry. While they're drying, I'm going to be working on my eggs. And I'm just going over another time with my acrylic paint. While the paint is still wet, I'm going to be doing the same thing with my glitter. I'm using gold glitter this time and I'm just sprinkling on that glitter and then I'll top off the excess. Now it's time to work on my bookends. On my frames I'm just gonna use my hot glue and glue the two pieces together to make a L then later on I'll add more wood glue to make it stronger I'm going to be using my apple barrel black matte acrylic paint and I'm just going to use my small paintbrush and go right around the edge and I'm going all around the sides and the inner edge So I'll do that for both frames and I'll allow them to dry for a couple minutes. And then for the edges of my frame, I'll be using my rhinestone ribbon and I'll just cut them to size. Um, the sides are a little over a quarter of an inch. So I'll just cut my ribbons to size and use my hot glue to attach them. And I'll just continue to go right around the edges of my frames. Now for my mirrors, I'm using what I have, but you can use a Dollar Tree mirror. Um, the Dollar Tree mirror is actually perfect for this project. You just need two of the Dollar Tree mirror and then on the edges, you'll just do the same thing that I'm about to do with my glitter. But I have these mirrors, so I'm using up what I have. You just need two Dollar Tree mirror for this. To glue my mirrors to my wood frame, I'm using my same wood glue works perfectly I have some one inch mirrors and two inch mirrors so that's what I'm using and I did that side and I'll do the same for the other side So I'll go ahead and use my Mod Podge on the areas that I need to put glitter and I'm using my same black glitter.
I'll just shake off the excess and place my frame to dry and I'll do that for both frames. So while that's drying, let's move on to our third and final design for our bookends. The doll tree has these hand soap and the frame is a unicorn frame. So I thought it would be perfect to make my bookends. I'm just going to use my oxo blade to cut off that top area. And I'm cutting it in real time so you can see that it's very easy to cut. And then I'll clean it very good and I'm leaving the soap inside because I want that to wait for the bookends. I'm just going to use my painter's tape and place a piece over the opening. And I'm just making sure that it's properly sealed. And then I'll give them a good cleaning before I take them outside to spray paint. To spray paint, I'll be using my 2X Rust-Oleum white spray paint for these. And off camera, I also use my E6000 to go around the edges of my painter's tape, just to make sure that it's nice and secured. So now they're all dry, it's time to decorate, and I'm going to be using my tacky glue along with my party glitter. And I'm just applying my tacky glue on the main area, and I'm leaving the horn out and then I'll just sprinkle my party glitter. For my horn, I'll be using my full cart metallic paint, my acrylic paint, and I'll just use my small painter's brush and paint the horn gold. Now I'm going to be using my Apple Barrel Black Acrylic Paint and I'll just highlight the eyes. And there we have it. So I place them to dry and then I'll just take a small firm brush and brush off the excess glitter. And then I'll use my same hairspray and just spray the glitter. And I'll be doing this about three times so the glitter can stay in place. And on my frames, I just use a piece of paper and I cover my mirror. And then I'm spraying it also with my hairspray. To give my bookends a neat finish, I'll be using this crafter square vinyl paper from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting out the piece for each section and I'll glue them in place. And for this area I'm using the Gorilla spray adhesive but the wood glue would work perfectly. All that's left to do is clean our mirrors and attach our decor pieces for our bookends. You would use hot glue along with a little bit of E6000 and just place your pieces. And there's no need to spray paint the base of our tennis ball since it will be glued to the mirror. I made the same display frame to display all my designs so I won't be gluing them down but you will use your hot glue and your E6000 and place your pieces. And now for my egg, I'm just going to attach it to my bunny rabbits right on the sides, just like so. And here they are, nice and beautiful. Let me know if you like the way these bookends turn out. Um, what do you think about the designs? Which one would you choose for yourself, if any? Please let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and share the video with someone that would be interested. All right. Take care until I talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.